amazing body. Part 1 We all look different. Our features like skin color, hair, eyes, nose, body shape and size are also different. No two people look alike. Even a pair of identical twins would have some differences in their features. But do you know, no matter how different we look, we all have the same body parts and they all work in the same way. Do you know, each of us has a unique set of fingerprints and tongue print. What is our body made of? Cells Our body is made up of millions of very tiny living units called cells. There are different types of cells. Some are flat, some are round and some are very long and thin. They are the building blocks of our body. They can only be seen under powerful microscopes. Tissues Cells of the same type that do the same job are grouped together to form a tissue. For example, muscle cells contract and relax to cause movement. These are grouped together to form a tissue called muscle tissue. Blood is a liquid tissue. Nerve tissue carries nerve signals. Bone is one of the strongest tissues in the body. The enamel that covers our teeth is the hardest tissue. Organs Different kinds of tissues join together to form the body's organs. Lungs Liver Kidneys Stomach Heart Brain are all organs. Our skin is the largest organ. Every organ performs a specific job such as the heart pumps blood, the kidneys clean it. Organ system When a group of organs cooperate to carry out a function of the body, we call it an organ system. The brain controls all the organs and systems of our body. Few organ systems? Our body has several systems. All the systems are interconnected. Let us now look at a few organ systems in our body and how these function. The skeletal system. All human beings have the same structure of bones. All the bones join together to form the skeleton. The skeleton is the framework which gives shape and support to our body. It helps us to move gives muscles a place to attach themselves and protects the soft organs inside our body from injury. The skull protects the brain. The ribcage protects the heart and lungs. Bones and joints make up the skeletal system. There are 206 bones and around 100 joints in the body. The muscular system Every time you move your body, either consciously or unconsciously, you use your muscles. 
Muscles make up for nearly half the weight of our body. There are more than 600 muscles in our body. Muscles make all our body movements possible, whether it is jumping, swimming, smiling or blinking. To do this, muscles become shorter and thicker and pull on the bones to which they are attached. Bend and stretch your arms. You will feel your arm muscles becoming shorter and longer. Muscles can pull but not push on the bones, so they always work in pairs or groups. The Digestive System All living things need food and water. But our body cannot use the food we eat as it is. It has to be broken down into simple substances which are soluble in water. The process of changing the food into simpler substances is called digestion. The organs of the digestive system are mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver and pancreas, small intestine and large intestine. The process of digestion starts in the mouth. We chew the food with our teeth. As we chew the food, a juice called saliva is secreted in the mouth. Saliva mixes with the food and makes it soft. After the food is chewed properly, you swallow it. It goes down a tube called the esophagus. The esophagus carries the food to the stomach. The stomach is like a muscular bag. The walls of the stomach secrete gastric juices. These juices help to change the chewed food into simpler substances. From the stomach, the food goes into the small intestine. Further going into small intestine, the juices secreted by liver and pancreas get mixed and help in breaking down of food. Small intestine is a long coiled tube. Some more juices mix with the food here. The walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and pass it on to the blood vessels. The blood vessels carry the digested food all over the body, supplying it with nutrition. Some parts of the food are not digested and they reach the large intestine. The walls of the large intestine absorb the water and the rest of the undigested food is thrown out of the body through the anus. Our Amazing Body Part 2 The Respiratory System All living things breathe. We breathe in through our nose. Nose has fine hair which trap dust particles and very tiny insects. So, always breathe through your nose and not through your mouth. Let us do an activity. Place your hand on your chest. Feel it rise and fall. As you breathe in, it rises. As you breathe out, it falls. Watch a sleeping baby. See how its chest rises and falls as it breathes. The respiratory system consists of 
the nose, windpipe, and a pair of lungs. As you breathe in through your nose, air containing oxygen goes in. Through the windpipe, it reaches the lungs. The lungs are made up of thousands of air sacs, which look like bunches of grapes. Each air sac is surrounded by capillaries. These capillaries contain impure blood brought from the heart. As the air containing oxygen reaches the air sacs, the capillaries release carbon dioxide and absorb the oxygen. There is an exchange of gases in the lungs. The air sacs now contain carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide leaves your body as you breathe out. This process goes on continuously. We die when we stop breathing. When we breathe in, it is called inhalation. When we breathe out, it is called exhalation. The nervous system. The nervous system is made up of the brain, which is the control center. The spinal cord, which connects the brain to the rest of the body and a network of nerves. One set of nerves carries messages from the sense organs to the brain. Another set of nerves carries messages from the brain to the muscles. We sense the world around us through our sensory organs. Let's see how. Our eyes are light detectors. They send messages to the brain which in turn tells us what we are seeing. Eyes provide a constant stream of information. Our ears are sound detectors. They enable us to hear sounds which vary from very loud to very soft. They also inform the brain from which direction the sounds are coming. Our nose is the smell detector. Our tongue is the taste detector. It has four kinds of taste buds. That is bitter, sour, salty and sweet which recognize different flavors. Our skin is the largest organ in our body. It helps us to detect things that are hot and cold, rough and smooth, hard and soft. If any of these organs gets damaged, we stop getting messages. The circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart, blood, and blood vessels. Your heart is the size of your fist. The heart is like a pump. It pumps the blood to all parts of your body. The brain does not control the heart. It works non-stop on its own. If it stops working, we will die. Blood is our body's transport system. It travels to all parts of the body through a network of blood vessels. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart and nutrients released from the small intestine to the millions of cells in our body. Veins collect oxygen-poor or impure blood and carry it back to the heart. 
the excretory system. This system helps us to throw out the waste products produced in our bodies in the form of urine, excreta and sweat. The reproductive system. This system helps us to produce young ones or babies. Wasn't it fun to know about our body? Isn't it such a wonderful machine?